Hi Aries, welcome to your February reading. It's Aquarius season. <laughs> I always like, once we get to Aquarius season, and then, you know, it's weird, because like, I just want to skip through everything and get to your season, because that's spring. Like, it always makes me feel like things are going to be better. <laughs> Renewal, refreshing, planting seeds, it's so nice, right? So we're going to go super intuitive <clears throat> for February. If you are looking for some new threads to wear, the Love Soul merchandise is on my website. We even have phone cases and we have stickers too. So go on over there, fearlessintuition.net, click on merchandise. Um, we've also got a Love Soul astrology reading. That information is in the description box if you'd like to book a session with me for your Love Soul Astrology reading. It's not a Sinistry reading. This is, speaking of love, the Hierophant comes straight out, you guys, okay? So the belief systems, yeah, that makes a lot of sense actually with the way your astrology is going as well. The whole belief systems, the changing of the belief systems. It's like the changing of the guards. So the Love Soul reading is um, to help guide you to see where you might find your divine partner in this lifetime and what it is that you actually need to heal within yourself so that you can attract this lovely person to you. So if you'd like to check that out, that information is in the description box. Uh, very limited, very limited. I'm only gonna be doing that for Valentine's Day, February stuff, so, you know, the February stuff. So, <clears throat> what's really interesting, Aries, um, before I started the camera, I was thinking about how your friendships are just getting weirder and weirder and weirder. And you can't necessarily, like, I think that you've been trying to figure out what the pattern is. You've been trying, your whole reading just fell out, by the way. You've been trying to figure out what the pattern is. You've been trying to accept that things need to be different. You've been, um, even so much as, like, requiring yourself to shift perspectives and to look in different ways and stuff because it seems like your friendships just it they just don't give you the same kind of satisfaction that they used to and maybe it's because your belief systems and it's not about them it's about you right so looking at that and how you're re really relating to the people that are around you is going to be a super big theme for the next coming months actually for you mercury retrograde is going to show you where you have been giving too much of yourself in certain situations where you've been pouring out all of yourself to everybody else and not getting anything in return it's going to show you and that doesn't mean that other people need to stop accepting your stuff that means that you need to create boundaries and stop providing ultimate access this extra access that everybody wants from you so First card out, we have the Hierophant, and then we have the Three of Cups, and then we have the Four of Swords. Honestly, I feel like you guys are just kind of tired of, of, about being, like you're just tired of being around everybody. And I think that a lot of rest in February is going to be really good for you. Yes, there are going to be occasions that people want you to come out and have a good time and relax and celebrate and chill and whatever, right? I mean, you know, everybody's getting the getting the vaccine i mean we're not i'm not going to get into that but you know what i mean like things are the pandemic's getting better i don't know that it's actually getting better but that is the thought process that everybody has and you're over here like i just kind of want to chill on my own and really just bring all the abundance to myself because that nine of pentacles is just calling for you to relax and be like listen your abundance already exists so you don't actually have to force anything. You don't actually have to hustle for anything. You don't actually have to um, overextend yourself for anything. All you got to do is do as much as you possibly can for whatever it is, purpose, place, exception, whatever it is that you want to do, and not buy into the fact that everybody else wants you to do things as well, right? There's this um need for you to find that inner strength in february and not find the strength by having other people constantly um 
boosting your ego and you know you need to be able to boost your own ego right now so then we have the water sign there's that water sign queen of cups we have the strength card and we have the eight of pentacles you know what's interesting is i feel like everybody's going to be coming at you and i know that you're going to try and hide behind your work as much as you possibly can i'm not sure that you're going to be able to get away completely from the chaos but I think that relaxing within this energy is, is a much better idea than trying to do the most. You know, when we're trying to do the most when it's Mercury retrograde, um, it goes direct on February 21st. So we'll get those last, what, seven days of February without retrograde, but we'll still be in the post-shadow period too. Um, but, you know, relaxing in this energy and not trying to push is going to ensure that you don't make mistakes down the road and create even more chaos for yourself down the road. So let's see what this Hierophant is. Hierophant represents Taurus. You could be dealing with a Taurus energy. You could also be dealing with a Leo energy or any of the water signs. But this Hierophant is like, it's all about leveling up. You know, it's all about, yes, this is the societal standard, but how can we do better? How can we do more leveling up? And I think that that's really what you're on right now. You're really wanting to stand firm in what you believe to be true. The emperor came out on the Hierophant. There's this spiritual leveling up that you are um, searching for. And it doesn't really necessarily mean that you're going to eat better. You're going to like eat organic and you're going to do yoga you know, five days a week and you're going to listen to all the meditation stuff and you're really, really, really going to try and manifest good and you're really, really, really going to try and push love and light out into the world. That's not what I'm saying here. What I'm saying here is I feel like you're looking at the ways that you've been spiritually guiding yourself and there's that step up from that. So when we're spiritually guiding ourselves and we recognize that there are some patterns and systems and you know conditions that we've been programmed into and we're ready to get rid of that that's where the difficult work goes into right that's where the difficult work starts and i think that i think that the triggers that you've had from how weird your friend groups have become and how you just don't really necessarily vibe in the same way that you used to vibe with the people I think that's really coming to the forefront for you so you can recognize that it's time to stop giving so much to the expectations of other people stop allowing them to be like oh it's cool this show aries will just show up whenever i need them to show up here we are right like that's you're not doing that anymore you're not doing that anymore right so the six of pentacles on the three of cups now here's the thing though when you stop giving all of your access and stop giving all of your energy to the coming together of people, right? So whether this means, because um, the Three of Cups is about union. So it's like union with friends and family. It's union with a lover. It's union with, you know, whoever it is that you are coming together with. That's what that Three of Cups is for me. It's not about a third party situation. Maybe in the past there was a third party situation, but you're ready to take the energy off of giving out your energy, basically. You're ready to stop giving so much access to yourself. So the Six of Pentacles, and if you look at this hierarchy system in the Six of Pentacles, sure, right now it just looks like this really nice man here is giving out some coin to people that really, really need it, and they're begging on the streets, and they really need it, right? But if you look closely at them, they are kneeled on the ground. This is about class. This is about status. This is about hierarchy. And the more you're giving of yourself to other people, or the more that you're begging attention from other people, the less that you're giving access, the less that you're giving the energy back to you. So this time, this month, it's more about chilling. It's more about relaxing into the vibration and not creating more issues by forcing things to look a certain way to be a certain way we're not forcing things anymore the hustle it doesn't even matter how hard you hustle there's also an earth sign that you need to get honest with you need to have a conversation with this earth sign and get really really honest with them and 
maybe even possibly could be that Taurus over here, maybe even possibly cut them out of your life. There's something about you taking a step back from that earth sign and not putting all of your energy and emotions into it anymore. You know, there's something about you healing and it could even be that conversation that you need to have with them is healing. Now, because Mercury is retrograde, you might want to wait until the end of February before you actually say all the things. It could be, but I also don't want you to drive yourself crazy. So be very, very discerning about the time frame. If you're recognizing that that person is a little bit tense and a little bit extra right now, don't start a really heavy conversation with them about where your friendship is going or where your love life is going or wherever the things with them are going, okay? Because it won't be heard. Your words will not be heard if you meet them at a place where they're not calm and relaxed and in a good vibrational frequency. Your words will not be heard. So let's see what this Knight of Pentacles is, because I know that you've been on the tip to um, create abundance for yourself, but I'm wondering if you actually recognize that you're doing that or you're still living in a fear that it, you're not, that it's like, <laughs> so um, I was actually just reminded a few minutes ago about how I really have a hard time um, seeing all of my gifts and all of my the things that I do for other people and the stuff that I embody like I know that I embody it but sometimes I don't see it and other people have to bring it to my attention what I'm doing and I'm like oh wow that's really interesting I didn't even recognize that and I sort of feel like what these three cards are saying to you is that it's time for you to really recognize how far you've come and to stop holding on to those situations and those people from the past that are just creating more restrictions for you. That Two of Swords and the Eight of Swords, both of these ladies here, you're not seeing your abundance is basically what I'm saying, okay? Like in a nutshell, you're not seeing how abundant you really are because there's some kind of fear, some kind of blockage that you're not willing to see for it to be removed, right? So that Eight of Swords and that Two of Swords, both those ladies are blindfolded. Both of them are extremely, they're like in, one of them is in defense mode and the other one is quite vulnerable. And all they have to do is remove the swords, take the blindfold off, remove the swords, and everything becomes clear. But are they willing to do that? Are they willing to stay in the victim mentality, in the victim mode, and watch everybody else's lives be abundant and prosper, prosperous and all of that. And then here you are not seeing how far you've come, not seeing how just, how, just how abundant you are because your expectations of what that abundance supposed to, is supposed to look like is much grander and much bigger, right? It's awesome to have big dreams, Aries. I always want you to dream big. But when you dream big, you have to start with the gratitude from the present moment, from right now. And every single moment is a new one to find that gratitude. Just because you didn't find gratitude this morning doesn't mean you can't do it at noon. Just because you didn't find gratitude at noon doesn't mean you can't do it before you go to bed. Right? Every new moment is a, is a, is a moment for you to shift your perspective. Instead of sitting in that lack mentality or that fear mode or that the mode of wanting to, uh, not wanting to create, right? Let's see what this water sign is up to. The Queen of Cups. Ah, so this is you. I get it. A little extra emotional. So you're a little extra emotional in February, and that makes a lot of sense. It could have to do with this earth sign. But this water, but feeling that emotional stuff, we have the Ace of Cups. This is a perfect opportunity for self-care. The, the universe is source, energy, right? Is that, that's what the Ace of Cups is. It's a gift from God. It's a great gift from source. Whoever God, whoever your God is, right? It's a gift. This is a gift of time. This is a gift of presence. This is a gift of knowledge for you in knowing just how wonderful you are. Self-care doesn't mean you just take a bath, you buy yourself some flowers and dinner, and you binge watch Netflix all night. That's not, I mean, yes, that is self-care, but that's not all that self-care is. It's also about how you're speaking to yourself. So if you're not having good conversations in your mind, 
That's the perspective that needs to change. That's the perspective that needs to shift because you're getting stronger. And the stronger you get, the more the dark forces are going to try and overtake that, that, that love that you have for yourself. Right? Do you see what I'm saying? So the stronger you get, the more that dark force is going to come in and be like, eh, 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 are you sure you're that amazing? And you need to be able to say, you bet your ass I'm that amazing. Watch me. Watch me be that amazing. And right now, you're just not seeing how amazing you are. Four of Cups on the Strength card. In fact, I think that sometimes you just want to ignore it so that you can pretend that you're not, you know, sometimes we're, we're more afraid of success than we are a failure. I know there's a lot of Aries out there that are like, whatever, I'm just afraid to fail. I'm really afraid to fail. Are you really afraid to fail? Because you know you're not going to fail. That's the thing, is you've already prepared for this part. You've already worked on it, Eight of Pentacles. You've already gotten to where you needed to be and now you're at that point where success is just around the horizon and you have a choice to either stop where you are right now or turn the corner. Woo. Man, you guys got a lot of cards this, mo this month. King of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. Okay. And, and... <laughs> Yeah, be careful with the inner the inner dialogue, for sure. Uh, Five of Swords and Ace of Swords. Because that inner dialogue can also make you say things that you don't actually mean to people because you'll project onto them your own fears and your own unbalanced, unbalanced nature. So um, creating a uh, sense of divine enlightenment within yourself, that's going to be a really big theme for February and to change the narrative. It's time for you to change the narrative. If you're having a really, really hard time genuinely feeling good, tomorrow, January 30th, I have a Manifesting 101 course, Manifesting Your Life 101, and it's not just about the law of attraction, you guys. This is so much bigger and so much better, and it will genuinely just help you feel good. It's not even just about manifesting your life. It's about feeling better about your life. So if you're interested in that, you still have time to sign up for it. That information is um, in the description box as well. You can go to fearlessintuition.net. So we have the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck with the Nine of Swords. And I know this air sign is still in your energy. I understand that this air sign is still in your energy. And Mercury retrograde always brings them back. And you, you think to yourself, well, Betsy, if they keep coming back to me, then that must mean that we're meant to be together. Not really. If they keep coming back to you and it's in the same modality or the same way every single time they keep coming back to you, you need to be able to look at that and say, I have a lesson to learn here. This is not about this person being my ultimate match because time has proven to me over and over and over again that we're not supposed to be together. Whether it's an earth sign, whether it's a water sign, whether it's an air, I don't care who it is. Um, when... You, when someone shows you who they really are more than once, then it becomes your fault if you continuously allow them to hurt you, right? So it's time to move that energy away from the lack mentality. We're moving energy away from the lack mentality. Eight of wands, five of pentacles, and five of wands is lack. The arguing with yourself, the telling yourself you're not good enough, why am I not worthy for them? Why can't they see? Da 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 da. Those, all of those things, all of that stuff. And if they contact you in February, whoever it is, I don't care what sign it is. If somebody comes back from the past and contacts you and makes you feel like this all over again, you can't because what's behind that? The universe is literally giving you an opportunity to close out a cycle, man. And by you surrendering, nine of wands, by you surrendering to the process, all of this bullshit where you're talking yourself out of being amazing goes away. Just It just will. When you surrender, 
and you realize that the universe is trying to show you something, when the universe is trying to make you realize that for so long you've been holding on to something that just creates anxiety and pain and sadness and hurt and depression, like that's not real, that's not real. Whether it's a friend or a coworker or a lover, that's not real love. Somebody can't say, I love you and then treat you like crap that doesn't work like that. And the universe, look at this, Ace of Pentacles, the world and the Ace of Wands. Did you want everything that you've ever desired? Because you can absolutely have it. 100% you can absolutely have it. As long as you stop playing small. As long as you stop realize or you start to realize, I mean, you're the emperor. Make your own rules. You're the emperor. Make your own rules. Okay. All right. I love you guys. Uh, I also have a workshop um, on February 6th that is Mastering Detachment. If you are having a hard time letting go of things from your past, that Mastering Detachment class, it's going to be perfect for you. Um, and it will also help you manifest things into your life when you learn how to detach yourself from expectations. Detachment isn't about not caring. You still have emotions. You still care. You still get angry. You still get sad. It's just the way that you respond is different and the way that you allow it to control your energy is different. And so I'm going to teach you guys how to do that as well. So that is next fe the next Saturday and the Manifesting 101 is tomorrow. I hope to see you guys at one or both of those. It'll be really fun. We also have a really good time on the membership. So um, awesome times on the membership. We're, we're going to be doing a lot of fun things this year with membership. So I hope to see you guys over there. I love you all so much. Please take care of yourselves and I will see you real soon. Bye.